Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on how to download Troponi NO2 data. Uh, by my account, there's at least five different ways that you can download Troponi NO2 data, and I will go through that in this. Uh, I'll go through methods one and two in this tutorial, and this will be a three-part uh, tutorial series. All right, so the first thing we want to determine is whether we have a short time frame or a long time frame. If we want just one, two, or three days worth of data, then we want to select either methods one or two on the left side of this screen. Um, if we want, say, one month or one year or multiple years of data, then I recommend using methods three, four, and five, and that will be in the uh, second and third tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're going to explore methods number one and two, and those are for short time frames. So let's go to the sci-hub.copernicus.eu website and select um, a more recent day, um, say September 1st of 2022. So this is what the sci-hub.copernicus.eu website looks like, S5P pre-ops, click that. It'll load up something like this. The first thing that we'll need to do is log in. Um, the login credentials are the same for everybody, so it's S5P guest. Um, we'll just copy that and put it in here for username and the password. Okay, uh, so now we're logged in. Uh, password, yep, is known by others, got it. Um, the next thing that we'll need to do is select an area. So go over here on the right, um, we have the square uh, uh, navigation is just area mode and we can select say a city such as New York City all right we have now we've just narrowed to just this sh small domain the next thing that we're going to do is click the three bars in the top left to get an idea of um, up to to narrow the time frame down so we are just going to select September 1st of 2022 as an example here um, if we want, say, three or seven days worth of data, we'd, collect, we'd select uh, the seventh as the end date, but we just want one single day, so just September 1st. Next thing we're going to do is the product type. Um, here we're going to select L2NO2. If you wanted carbon monoxide or formaldehyde, you can select those, but we're focusing on NO2 for this tutorial. Processing level L2 and the timeliness. This is going to be the what type of product we have the offline product and the near real time product the offline product um, is available typically with about a 10 day delay um, the near real time product is best if you want to look at yesterday's or perhaps even today's over past information if it's late enough in the day so this is more than 10 days ago so we're going to select offline and last but not least we're going to do a search here for this file and there we go we found one file uh, one overpass over New York City on September 1st, 2022, and then we can click the URL to download it to our computer. Another way to download the data, especially um, this for this is the version two product uh, before July 2021, they have uh, what's called the PAL product. Uh, more information can be found at this website right here, but we're going to browse the all products here. Just click that button on the left hand side of the screen opens up this browser interface which is fairly intuitive to use we're going to click the no2 um, let's see let's we're going to select um, say 2019 let's look at september 1st 09 of um, 2019 and so one thing we'll have to know is the approximate overpass time in our area and so for our region. Um, the overpass time in the New York City, Washington DC area where I'm located is somewhere between 16 and 18 UTC. Um, this will be earlier in Europe, approximately the same time in South America. Um, <clears throat> and But it's about 19 uh, to 21 UTC on the West Coast. So you can use this as a reference to, to understand um, approximately what time you, frame you want to look at. So for this, we would just then look at, there it is, T17, and this will get us, down, click that link to download um, September 1st, 2019, uh, over the New York City area. All right, so with that, here's that's tutorial number one. I encourage you to check out uh, tutorial number two and three to learn more ways how to download Tribune NO2 data.